Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Travis Levere. I play guitar in a band called Entheos. Here's a quick rip lesson video from our song The World Without Us off of our new record, Dark Future. <laughs> This riff incorporates a few different techniques. We'll be using some palm muting, quite a bit of string skipping, a couple harmonics, and also switch between outside picking strokes and inside picking strokes. Here's section one of the riff. Okay, so we got two groups of five notes is how I'm thinking of it. Okay, so the first three are going to be second fret on the low E string with your first finger, followed by second fret on the G with your second finger and then back to the same note on the low E string, okay? And that's going to be down, up, down, outside picking strokes. Okay? The fourth and fifth note is going to be used with your fourth finger and third finger on the fourth fret D string and then right above it, fourth fret A string. And we're going to switch to inside picking strokes for these two, down and then up. Okay, put those together. Okay? There's your first five notes. The second five is going to use the exact same picking pattern using outside picking strokes for the first three, down, up, down, inside picking strokes for the fourth and fifth, down, up, okay? But we're going to switch. Now we're going to use second fret on the low A string, followed by second fret on the A string down here, and then followed by the same two notes on the fourth fret D and A string. Okay, so there's your next five. So put those together. There's section one of the riff, okay? One more time. Here's section two of the riff. This is the chord that we're holding. Fifth fret with your second finger on the low A string, barring your first finger across the fourth fret on the A and the D string down here. We're just muting the low E string in between. Here's the picking pattern. It's going to go down, up, down, up, up. You do that twice. Here's the second part. Holding the same chord, you're going to switch to inside picking strokes for the last three. So it's going to be alternate picking for the last four notes, but for the last three, you're going to go up, down, up. And kind of unpalm mute them at that point, let them ring a little bit. So now we're going to repeat the first and second section of the riff that we just learned, except now we're going to add these little harmonics at the very end of the first section. And I use my fourth finger, pinky, to hit them right above the fourth fret on the D and the A string. One more time. Here's the third and final section of the riff. We're going to start off with this little walk down. We're holding the third fret with our second finger on the low A string. Three of those. Then our third finger is going to hit the third fret on the uh, A string. First finger on the second fret D. Third finger again, fourth fret on the G. That's going to slide up to seven. First finger catches the fifth fret on the B string. And then we're sliding our third finger all the way back to the second fret on the G. Okay? Then we're going to finish it off with this C major 7 chord that we're just kind of doing this rhythm chug section on. And I'm holding the third fret A string, second finger, second fret on the uh, D with our first finger, fourth fret on the G, third finger and pinky on the 5th fret B string. One more time all together. Here's the whole riff played a little bit slower.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.